This video covers the scale command, which you can use to quickly and easily create uh, z-scores in R. So the first thing that we're going to do is head into R Studio, and I'm going to load the foreign package, and then set my working directory and load the 2016 wave of the general social survey, which I've been using through these tutorials. Before actually hopping into the GSS to show you how scale works there, uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is just make a simple variable named x that's going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, just to show you a little bit of how scale works. So I'll just create that, and you can see I have x now in my global environment. And to quickly z-score it, all you need to do is type scale and then just the name of the, the x variable I just made. And you'll see that R will give me back the z-scored versions of the variable, right? So the first observation 1 has a z-score of negative 1.26491111. The other thing that's worth noting, if you look through the, uh, the results that R is giving you carefully, is that it actually adds two other things, two attributes, the centering factor and the scale. So here the centering is just 3, which is the mean. You can verify that by just typing mean x, and you'll see you get 3. And then the scale is just the standard deviation, which you can also get by just typing in SD for standard deviation and X, and you will get exactly the same result. Um, so this can add a, a couple of wrinkles to how you add z-scored variables to data frames, but as you'll see, it's, it's pretty straightforward. So moving to the GSS, let's say that we wanted to create a z-scored version of the variable education, which is just uh, in years, so educ in the GSS. So I would type something like GSS dollar sign educ z, right, just to remind myself that it's the z-scored version because we would never want to overwrite the initial variable. So we would type whatever variable name you would like to use, gets, scale, and then gss dollar sign educ. And uh, the first thing that I'll, I'll note before running this command is if you look, I have 56 columns in my general social survey object. And then if I run that, I now have 57. That 57th column, which will be stacked at the far right of the general social survey, is the z-scored uh, version of education. So if you wanted to check that yourself, you could use something like head, uh, and then open up some square brackets, and then just type in educ and educ z. And if I run that command now, you'll see that I get the original metric of x, so years of education, and then the z-scored version right beside it. So you can just kind of quickly compare the two. Um, now, it's worth mentioning that because, as we saw above, uh, the, the object that's actually created by running scale is, is a little bit more complex. And if you wanted to see what that was, you could just type something like class scale x. And as you see, when you run this, it returns a matrix and array class, right? So this is actually more complex than maybe the numeric variable that you thought you were going to get. It's actually easy enough to just uh, to, to remove the additional information, so the, the, the mean and the standard deviation that you're using for scaling, if um, you just do a little tiny tweak to the command. So if I go back to GSS, dollar sign, educ z, Two, right? Just to just to keep both of those variables, so I can show you both. You could do um, so. GSS dollar sign educ z two gets scale GSS educ just like before, except now we're going to go to the start of the command and type as dot vector, which will just create a numeric variable, um, just like any other column. So if I run this um, in just a second, you'll see that this will go from fifty seven to fifty eight. So I'll run it right? 58, just as we wanted. And then if you wanted to check the first few values, I'm going to just copy and paste this line, move it down to 14, and then add in educ z2. And you can see, once I, I check this, that educ z and educ z2 are exactly the same, except that the class for educ uh, z2 is going to be numeric, and then for educ z it's going to be more complex. So if that matters to you, and overwhelmingly it doesn't, but every now and then it can create some kind of unexpected behavior to have complex objects like that in your data frame. So unless you really need the central tendency and dispersion, it's a good idea to just use the as vector command uh, in combination with scale. The only other thing that's really worth noting is that your input for the scale command has to be correct. So uh, if you tried to, uh, to give r a ordinal variable, for example, it will refuse to run the scale command. It'll just return an error message. So let's say that we wanted to look at um, degree. So I'll just do a quick frequency distribution of that. 
right? And you can see that it's just the respondent's educational attainment by degree instead of by years. Um, so now if I did GSS dollar sign uh, degree Z gets scale GSS dollar sign degree, right? Um, this is going to cause an error message because X is not numeric, right? The, the class for degree is a factor. So um, R is quite correctly telling us, no, I, I can't compute the mean and standard deviation of that for you, so I won't. But really that's all there is to it, to, to calculating these quickly. So the basic command is what I've got highlighted right now on line 13. Just use as vector, parentheses, scale, and then the numeric variable that you're interested in, and then close your brackets and run it, and that's it. 